set this up because we're really interested in ideas about the experience of both staff and service users, what it's like to be in a CMHT, and what we're really aiming to do is to try and work on what recovery really means. So, you know, what's the experience of a team, what's the meaning of being in a team, and how can we try and improve that? We've had up to five teams over the, over the course of the two years working together across all of the bits of the trust. Um, so that's Luton, Bedfordshire, City and Hackney, Newham and Tower Hamlets. And over the course of that couple of years have really begun to learn a lot actually about the importance of co-production. I've been a practitioner for 20 years and really it's, it's the best experience that I've ever had working in mental health um, to really learn from um, people who re receive care and to really think about how we can change um, the work that we're doing to be responsive and to actually be effective. Um, and also to kind of work together as colleagues, service users being colleagues, um, the relationship shifts. It was one of the first times that we started having meetings with service users about their care and how we can improve the quality of care that we give. I think in the beginning some staff were uncomfortable having service users in the same room and us discussing these type of things. Um, but again, we, the, what, the, the core thing we, we were selling is that they are on the receiving end of the care, so they are better placed to help us shape the care that we give. It has given service users a, a voice in, uh, to be able to express how they see the view service and how they want service to be better improved. And for professionals, it gives them a platform where they learn from service users because they don't necessarily have the experience. You know, they are professional, but they don't necessarily, they haven't experienced what service users have. Service users have a lived experience and professionals don't necessarily have that lived experience. So it's, it's both, you know, like helping both service users and professionals in a way that is why it's important. Well, we always knew we needed that, but I suppose there was a reluctance in, in when and how. When we were first asked to do um, this project, didn't really know what it was um, well, what it would involve. Um, so we didn't really realize that we would be working so closely with service users and carers, didn't realize that we would be embarking on this journey where they um, would be guiding us on um, clinical care, environment, whatever it may be. But um, again, it's, so it's definitely a culture shift um, with that way of working, but a culture shift for the positive. The biggest transformation for me um, as operational lead is actually the change in relationship within the team. So for us, the big win is actually now our service users are saying, we like being looked after by the Isle of Dogs CMHT. And our staff are saying, if we become unwell, I would like to be looked after this team. And I think that is the biggest win. You know, it's like we are part of something that we, and we are seeing the changes. You know, we are given a voice and our voice, we felt our voices heard and we're seeing the changes that is happening. And you know, like I'm going to go into QI now, you know, like that is the change idea we talk about and the change idea that we talk about in co-production group, we see the change idea reflecting on how the system is operating. So that is very positive. The proactiveness of service users, instead of this traditional thing of like, we are providing this care, you can take it or leave it. It's like, this is the care that I need, that's going to help me. How are you going to, Marisa, how are you going to deliver that? And that conversation has been transformative. If we were to do it all over again, we would involve our service users right at the beginning. We're actually improving lives, we're improving relationships. People are feeling much more comfortable to speak to us because we're just 
having a conversation with okay on level about because we all make, make mistakes and it's acknowledging that we do make mistakes but also how can we improve on, on the mistakes that we've made um, and again just having that honesty and I think through that honesty where in terms of the public the service users the, 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 the carers they feel much more comfortable to talk to us because there's that honesty and transparency Thank you.